Okay, so you decided that you want to be a EuroLeague fan, follow the league, watch the games and just get involved, but you have no clue how to do that. At least that's what I understood when I saw the comments after the five reasons why you should watch the EuroLeague this season video. And yeah, guys, I did not expect so many of you asking where to watch these games, which teams to follow and so on. So I'll make this quick explainer video explaining every single little thing you should know, all these basics, all these simple things things that us Europeans know already, which will help you understand what the hell is the EuroLeague and hopefully allow you to become a fan yourself. So let's start with one of the most basic questions, what is the EuroLeague? I see one of the comments saying I'm still new to the game and really lack some knowledge, maybe you could do some videos for new watchers explaining positions, tactics and how the league works and so on. It is a basketball league, obviously the second best in the world in many people's opinion, including mine, and that part the Euro in the EuroLeague name probably explains which content competition this is. So EuroLeague is a basketball league that in theory should have all the best European teams. I say in theory because it is a semi-closed league. Semi-closed meaning that the teams in the league are predetermined and almost always the same. Like let's take a different example from European football where we have the Champions League where literally any football team from any country could make it through qualifications or through being high in the standings of the domestic league. But in the Euro League, there's 12 teams that have long term licensing, and then there's these six teams that have the wild card, but then the wild card can last up to three years, but also can last only one year. It's all very confusing, but essentially what you need to know when you start following, there's 18 teams and they don't really change. Those 18 teams play each other twice, one home, one away, and you get 34 games a season for each team. So now when do these games happen and how often do they happen? Usually there's one game for each team each week, but sometimes there's two games a week and we call those weeks double weeks. So remember this term if you ever hear it. And it's really easy to follow because the schedule is like always the same. It's either Thursday and Friday or if it's a double week then it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you always know when the teams are gonna play. So that's all you need to know about the regular season and then there's the postseason where from 2023-24 season there's a playing tournament where the 10th and 9th seed can theoretically become a playoff team. Obviously eight out of the 18 teams do advance to the playoffs and then we get to the quarterfinal best of five series which then leads to the final four. With the playoffs done around April we head to the final four which is in May where we see a four team single elimination tournament that happens in a single weekend in one location so yeah this league is literally NBA meets March Madness okay now the league structure is out of the way let's get to the time schedules and all the other info that you need to know I guess the obvious answer would be just go to the EuroLeagueBasketball.net website which is the official website of the EuroLeague but you know the obvious answer isn't necessarily the best answer the best answer that I could give you is basketnews.com. And here are my personal reasons why. I'm not I'm not being biased, even though this is a basket news video, but why I think it's much easier to follow the league if you just go to basketnews.com. Number one is the basics, obviously schedule, stats, standings, all these kind of things you'll find anywhere. Now, number two is the latest news, the hottest topics and articles. Obviously, we get some exclusive interviews with some of the players or coaches. Also, we have some opinion articles, so all that kind of a stuff is is all available on basketnews.com. And lastly, if you're into that, you can also play the EuroLeague fantasy game on our website too. So I think I said enough. And I also saw some comments saying, when are the games? But you know, it's hard for me to tell one answer to a whole worldwide audience, but simply put in Europe, it's in the evening. In America, it's in the morning. And in Asia, unfortunately, it's in the middle of the night. It's usually like 1, 2 a.m. or so. So depends on your time zone, do check out on the schedules but it is somewhere around those times that i mentioned now the most 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 asked question that i could find in the youtube comments was where do i watch the games you know living in 2023 i kind of assumed people would just google those kind of things but you know since the answer is so easy let me just tell you now if you're in the united states then you're lucky because espn bought the rights to broadcast the euroleague last season and now they're doing it through the regular season so that's great but if you're not, and even if you are actually, you can watch all these games. They're all available or at least should be available on EuroLeague TV, which you can find by Googling EuroLeague TV. 
simple. The only thing is, if you're in some of these European countries, then the local broadcasters might have the rights and you might not be able to access it through EuroLeague TV, but just check in the EuroLeague TV website. They definitely list all the info there. And it's a great platform actually, because I use the web browser a lot. I also use the mobile app, which they have. And also you can hook up your TV with the app and then watch the games on your TV. So essentially they have everything. You can watch it anywhere, anytime. Finally, the hardest question that I got was which teams should I follow? I don't know if you understand what kind of a position you put me in with this question. Because, you know, if I say a team that isn't a team that some basketball fan supports, they'll go in the comments and they'll say, oh, I knew you were biased. I knew you support this or that team or whatever. So that's why I can't just give you a straight up answer like that, which teams to follow, but I can give you some guidance how to choose. Number one and the most logical one is you probably should just watch some games of the EuroLeague and the decision I think will come naturally to you. But that's also tricky because are you gonna watch 18 teams play? I mean, you probably won't. So then the second option I think is going through the rosters because you'll probably be surprised how many players you actually know. I think there's a lot of players who played in the NBA that you forgot about and a lot of players that played in college and you never knew where the hell did they go. So EuroLeague is often the destination for these guys. And the third way to choose a team is probably the most controversial statement I'll make in this whole video. The teams to follow are the ones with the most passionate passionate fan bases. I mean, okay, I know not every team has a passionate fan base. Some are more crazy than others, but in general terms, that's what makes the EuroLeague so great, these fans. So I think if you want to get started and you want to feel those emotions inside you just watching a game, you can start watching the Greek teams, Serbian teams. I mean, watch Jalgiris Konas, watch Virtus Bologna, Fenerbahce. I mean, there's so many teams that have such strong fan bases. I guess you could also just watch a video that we did before, which team has the best fan base. I mean, we didn't actually say which team does, but you can see those teams that have bigger fan bases than others. And yeah, just make that decision yourself because I won't be able to tell you which team you have to follow. So to finish off this 101 instructional EuroLeague edition video, or whatever you want to call it, I have to say that you have to follow our channel, don't I? And it's not just because we got the Your Bonus podcast where we get our guys to talk about the hottest, latest topics, all the, you know, dramas, everything. At least once a month on the Your Bonus podcast, we also have Eric McCollum, who's CJ McCollum's brother that plays in Europe, who usually comes in with another player and they have this player's perspective that's nice to hear as well. Then we have the breakdowns that Augustus does all the time. Then I tell some stories sometimes, as you can see, and we also get all the biggest highlights on our channel. And there's always much more that we just come up along the way. So you cannot miss out on our channel. You need to subscribe and ring the notification bell. I hope this video answered most of your questions that I saw in the comment section on the last video so if you have any more questions make sure to put them down in the comments i'll sit down again i'll talk to you guys i'll explain everything you need to know it was a bit of a different video but i enjoyed it i hope you did as well see you next time